moment of silence for the Jedi Order. Single tier. Just to start out, let's <laughs> yep. take one moment of silence. Hello! Welcome to Revenge of the Podcast. Jesus. I'm I'm Griffin. That, that was awful, Griffin. That was so loud. <laughs> you just totally peaked out. I like... had to cut the moment of silence with, with some energy. I didn't want an episode to be a bummer. Right, We're going to talk about sorry. some sad You're stuff. Right. You're but right. Come on, Ben. That's producer Ben, of course, a.k.a. producer Ben, he's a.k.a. Get, he's getting the intro before I get the, the intro. Sir. He cut in. He cut in. He well, because he yelled in the microphone. He did. Because I wanted to cut the silence. You're doing it again. I'm watching your levels okay, right now. I'm going to talk very quietly <laughs> Hi, uh, this is Griffin. This is David Sims. Welcome to Revenge of the Podcast. Part of the storied Griffin and David Present franchise. Yep. Uh, the rude interruption uh, of, of my emotional oscillation was from producer Ben, a.k.a. producer Ben, a.k.a. the Ben Deucer, <laughs> a.k.a. the Haas, a.k.a. Mr. Positive, a.k.a. Hello Fennel. Oh my God, it. fuck this movie. Yep. Seriously, I didn't rewatch it since the last time I watched it. Good. But just on the way over here to thinking about talking about it again. It's just so painful. What is this? How many have we done now? This is, this is four out of ten. No, so. no, it's not four. It's not four. Uh, yes, it is. Are you no. serious? Yep. Uh huh. Wait, 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 wait. No, it's five. It's four. No, it's four. This is four. Oh that God. outburst of anger. This is a new. Wow. I literally thought speed. this was the sixth episode we've done on this. No, this is movie. this is four out of ten. We do ten episodes. Okay. On each movie. Oh no! I'm talking to our guest. That oh my know. God! It's coming from our our wonderful guest. Uh, the great Mike Drucker, Hello. Mike Drucker. comedian, writer, uh, works uh, works on the Tonight Show, which yeah, on, along with uh, Chase Mitchell, uh, yeah. uh, a former guest of ours. Yeah, we had Chase. Yeah, Chase was with us when we discovered there was a third fan, uh, Phantom Menace movie. It was huge. Yeah, yeah, because Mike, I, I know you're a big fan of the Phantom Menace trilogy, yeah. so you probably knew all of this in advance. <laughs> But we came into this kind of neophytes. We were huge Phantom Menace fans. Right. But somehow, Is that our story? I thought it was that we just sort of remembered if <laughs> eventually that there were scenes. No, no, because you're forgetting that I saw, when I saw the first one when it came out, I said it was the best one yet. You did. I said best it was the movie best made. movie anyone had made yet. <laughs> um, we, we were huge Phantom Menace fans. Right. Yep. Okay. We wanted to do a podcast, 10 episodes, just okay. to, to re-examine it. Mm -hmm. Much to our surprise, we found out that George had, in fact, made a sequel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Attack of the Clones. 10 yeah, episodes Attack on that one. We're ready yeah. to move on. Chase yeah. was here. Mm -hmm. And then we found out that, in fact, there was a Revenge third film. Yeah. He completed the trilogy. And so now we're trying to figure out uh, this uh, serial-style mystery investigation is that it? we pretty much dropped. <laughs> <laughs> what What is this trilogy supposed to be about? Uh, um, is is this? Did he tell the complete story? What is it trying to say? Right, something like so. that. I don't, I don't know. know. Some also, investigation yeah, like yeah, that. whatever. Um, but you're you're a big fan. I'm a big fan of the trilogy. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, personally, I think like if you look at the movies coming out, like or you know the first ones before nine eleven, it's the happiest one of the trilogy. Sure. Yeah, and then after that. Not that everything's about 9-11, but it gets much darker, and you find the characters you like turning to evil. And mm -hmm. it might be a statement about America's turn that he didn't plan ahead of time when he made the first one. I, I, I you know, the, the first movie ends on a big upswing, right? Right, big upswing. Gungan save. Yeah. Like, Sith defeated. The Trade Federation de defused. I don't, you know. Yeah. Second movie ends, you got Clone Wars starting, you know, Anakin lost an arm. Yeah. And, th and then this one, this one's just a tragedy. It's a pitiable tragedy. Yeah. Yeah, I would argue uh, this movie feels like a, a film made by a man who has lost the will to live. <laughs> <laughs> but Which also, is how we all felt like, sort of four years after 9-11. Yeah, like yeah. Mike is saying, though, also a man yeah. who hates all institutions right. yep. and government. Yeah, and overturn the government. You know, this is a movie about every institution crumbling into death. Yeah, this is a movie of severe distrust. Yeah. Because yeah. at the end of the day, even though Anakin is presented as acting worse than, than Obi-Wan, sure. the yeah. Jedi is and the Republic are both represented as being bad, shitty forces in a way. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, headless, yeah, yeah. foolish, yeah. like easily corruptible. Yeah, yeah. Ugh. Yeah, I think the Jedi's are to blame as much. So we're we're, we're, we're talking about the Jedi Order today. Right, okay. We're talking about the Jedi Order. Okay, of course. We've we've done an episode on Anakin. Okay. We've talked about Palpatine. Right. Mm -hmm. But we want to talk about how the rest of the Jedi's are functioning in this movie and not how not well. Not well. Yeah, you know? Not well. Really, really, everything they've been doing wrong comes back to bite him in the ass. Yeah. For three movies. Yeah. For three movies, we've been getting warnings like, "Hey, it turns out they're Sith lords." Out yeah. There, right. Mm -hmm. well, maybe we it's keep been an eye hinted on that. at pretty let's heavily. Keep, let's keep an eye on that. Oh, hey. Yeah. Like, so someone in the Jedi Order ordered a clone army without us noticing that. That's weird. Aren't we psychic? Yeah. We, like, shouldn't we be on this? Yeah. The so third movie, like, oh, yeah, the, the whole clone army, they're genetically programmed to kill us. We miss this. Well, what I hate is you see the first movie, and you have two Jedis that are just fighting incredibly well against one guy, mm -hmm. obviously. But then the more Jedi you add to every movie, the worse they are. 
to the third movie where they order Order 66 and they're just shot. Yeah, they just get shot. They just yeah. get shot. Like, one lady doesn't back. even turn around. <laughs> like, she definitely senses shit, but she doesn't turn around. Can I say shit? Oh, yeah. Oh, you okay. can say anything okay. you want. Say yeah. you I want. don't know if this is Hasbro pays for this. Oh, yeah, Hasbro does pay for this, <laughs> yeah. but you can say whatever you want. Second, no, I mean... Uh, I Griffin should say, has paid Hasbro for this. <laughs> I paid Hasbro. <laughs> um, I, I, you can say whatever you want, but okay. just advance notice just because you're a comedian, right, right. you're a comedic writer, and I understand I you know, come from... Uh, the same world. This is a no bits podcast. We should no make bits. it very clear. Okay, no we bits. hate bits. We I, don't not, believe in bits. No bits. We, we want to talk. This is a serious film criticism <laughs> podcast. We want to talk openly about the films we're discussing right. with no sort of overarching bits. Okay, like, don't no give bits. me more work. I don't want to have to do any editing and okay. post. Okay, <laughs> yeah. right, exactly. No so bits. Back into the third and final film in the Phantom Menace trilogy. Yeah. Um, um, it, it is no. No, I, Mike is totally right. Mike's right because yeah, yeah it, you, it's like the Jedi's. They're supposed to be these sort of these chess type games when they fight. Other yeah, Jedi. you know, mm-hmm. it's like wow, like you're watching them. And they're then, perfectly balanced. Yeah, and then it's like I don't know, bang bang, they're dead. Next one. Yeah. Well, and I think you know because <laughs> this is supposed to be fifteen thousand Jedi, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Like someone gives that throws that number out at some point. Like there's something like fifteen thousand Jedi's around the planet. They all just get shot. I, I do think more than anything that is representative of, and not to keep on beating this drum, but a filmmaker who has kind of lost interest. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> right, because the first, I mean, we, you know, the way we've done a lot of research into yeah. how the big shift in filmmaking between episode one, episode two, that was pushed even further into three, where it was right. really all in front of a green screen, not even having the actors in the same scene often and stitching them together in post in front of digital backdrops and this and that. Yeah. And a lot of it was done a lot more on the fly, whereas the first one, I think, had a lot of extensive plans. Yeah. And so the first one you feel like really sharp, precise choreography and fight right. sequences that are shot and edited around those moves and built. Really thought out. Yeah. 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 And and this just feels like he had especially when there are group scenes where you have more than one Jedi yeah, on screen. Yeah, they just die. Yeah, but it feels like he just had each actor come in one by one into a soundstage and go like, just do some stuff with your lightsaber. Yeah, wave it around. Yeah, wave it around yeah, a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Film we'll, them we'll for two it. minutes and then copy pasted them into other scenes later. <laughs> like, it's so uh, nonspecific. Yeah. When these guys are supposed to be the best guys and gals, let's mm. say. Yeah. And, and you know what? I'm not fucking gender binary when it comes to Jedis. Sure. Although all Jedis do seem to be male or female. Yeah, and if they're aliens like, and they're women, we can tell they're women they're yeah. like yeah. big sexy alien women yeah big sexy alien women. <laughs> yeah like yaddle that big that what big... happens to yaddle yeah, well, i think she just quits we don't see yaddle we don't see yaddle yeah but she's only in told. movie one right yeah, yeah. yeah. let's just say, i mean uh, you know we are acknowledging that george is making films that reflect the world that we live in and, sure. and yeah. yaddle was i think about six thousand years old <laughs> she was an old lady and yeah. women tend to lose career opportunities you know in their 40s so if yaddle if six thousand is the equivalent you know <laughs> she might just gotten pushed out for because uh, Yala Sakura shows up in episode two. Yaddle's gone. Yala Sakura's wearing a halter top. She's the one with the, she's a Twi'lek, right? She's yeah. Two yeah, sort yeah. of, yeah. Like Leku? Le- what's the word for it? Uh, the, 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 the oh, things, they're called the, Leku? They're called something with an L. The, that's a good the, role, the Mike. Wow, Mike. I think that's what they're called. Mike might be deeper into Wikipedia than we are. <laughs> yeah. I could be wrong, though. It could be a totally different word, and I seem like an asshole. So. Ugh, that's, that, 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 that's what all our listeners are yeah. thinking right now. <laughs> all our Twi'lek oh, listeners are you so bad right now. What an asshole. Um, I, yeah, she, she's who I'm thinking of when I say yeah. big, sexy uh, alien Right, woman. but yeah. Yaddle's phased out. Yaddle yeah, no Yaddle. just fucking put she in the time. She just disappears. Yeah. yeah. They need a sexier, flashier Jedi. Um, a li- little reverse housekeeping here okay. to, oh, sure, to sure, get sure, on sure. to reverse a point. Housekeeping. First of all, it always needs to be said, please uh, uh, rate and review. Oh, yeah, sure. Our, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, because ben, Ben's here on a Sunday. We're recording on a Sunday right now. It's crazy. We got we to gotta line those coffers. Week after week, we got to line those coffers. The reviews have been nice. I appreciate them. I especially appreciate how many people say that Ben is their favorite part of the show. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> and imply that we are monsters. We are monsters. We are monsters. Um, but adorable monsters. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, or rate, uh, subscribe, yeah, yeah, uh, review. All, that, yeah, all yeah, these yeah, yeah, yeah. free shows. Uh, you know. uh, uh, this and that. Uh, l- last week we, we was a dark week for us. Uh, oh, psychologically, we were show- you mean like, but also we didn't the, have the a, show was an dark. episode last week. You were filming because <laughs> I was filming, and I was in Washington D.C. Actually, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we had we had things that we were doing. At first, I thought you meant like someone died, like yeah, it was well, just a real dark, dark week. week. All, <laughs> All the Jedi died. Like, Every single Jedi. About fourteen thousand nine hundred ninety-five <laughs> yeah. Jedi died. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> two are left. Um, yeah, 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 two or three. 
I don't care any kinds of Jedi anymore. Uh, oh, nope. that's the second point we have to make is, uh, Mike, yeah. uh, just so you can feel safe in this environment yeah, if yeah. you aren't already, uh, Sith Lords are not allowed to listen to this podcast. This is a thing Griffin's been doing recently. No, I'm only half on I don't board want with people it. rating us fucking <laughs> zero stars. I mean, wouldn't it only be two ratings? That's true. Zero There's stars? only a master and an apprentice. We haven't. We got one one star rating so far. Okay, so the well, that, but who, who was it? Yeah, I don't want the that second the, shooter. The master drop. or the apprentice? The I don't know. <laughs> but which one know. was it? Well, here's what you do. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. That's in episode one. That that exchange of dialogue. Yoda and Mace Windu. Oh, so, look, seems like it was a Sith Lord. Which was it? The Master and the Apprentice. I don't know. Let's do no work on this. <laughs> Let's just it's not do work on okay. this. The way to figure out who, whether it's the Master or the Apprentice, is look up the age of the person who commented and if they are 90 years old then they are the apprentice yeah you talk right. count yeah because you got to get then some young buck count. apprentices <laughs> um i i tweeted out uh, as a joke that we weren't f- uh, recording because i was filming the new colin trevorrow movie yeah, uh, yeah. A, a lot of people took that seriously well congratulations though. Uh, thank you yeah. uh, i just want to clearly say that i would i would never work for colin trevorrow and i have <laughs> no i have no hesitation saying that publicly because i doubt that colin trevorrow will ever never make a, a film movie. that i want to be in He'll i will never say book that one I don't mind what bridges I burn publicly. Colin Trevorrow will never direct a film that I have any interest in being part of the cast. <laughs> As we said, no bits. and No bits. Um, <laughs> yeah, a sort of sub-theme in this podcast is Griffin just ruining his career. I'm ruining my career. I'm burning it to the ground. Straight just I have shit. no allies anymore. Anyway. Anyway. The Jedi. I, I, the Jedi. Avery Edison, uh, our longtime oh, listener, Avery Edison. tweeted at oh, us yeah. complaining that we didn't have an episode. Mm-hmm. And she said, I'm so angry at you. I'd accuse you of being a Sith Lord, but you seem too self-aware for that. Mm-hmm. And I, oh, I, funny meme, came up with, a, I made a picture on my phone that I think I sent to you. Yeah, yeah, that uh, was of like, Yoda. Right, it was like a fake subway poster. Yeah. And it was Yoda, and it said, if you see something, completely ignore it and never talk about it ever again, right. or whatever yeah, right. it is. And that really does seem to be the way the Jedi's function throughout yeah. this entire yeah. movie. You, they clock it once. Yeah, yeah. They definitely clock it once, and then they just disregard well, it. Well, they also like seem to ignore all the... the They're like, oh, there's a Sith Lord, and they're, they're pretty crazy. And then they're like, what about Count Dooku? Nah, he's probably fine. <laughs> like, he's just an old... like He's think, an old Jedi. He's an old Jedi. I yeah. mean, he wouldn't do something evil. He just broke off from the Jedi Order and did his own thing. Like, yeah, and, what? and what? founded a huge army and chopped right. up Anakin's arm. But he wouldn't be a Sith Lord. <laughs> Is it just really inconvenient to have a Sith Lord? Also, yeah. everyone who has ever left... Maybe. The Jedi Order has become evil. Oh, right? Like true. it's not like it's like, and he and he had a kid with a woman. You're he like, just became right, a real fine. estate agent. He didn't want all the hullabaloo, the rat race. You know, right. like, but is it like, yeah, is it like bed bugs or something? You know, you're getting bites, but you just don't want to have bed bugs. <laughs> I think yeah. that's kind of so it. you're just like, uh, it's a, it's mosquito. I don't know. There right. was a spider uh, in my room the other day. Hey, don't worry about it. <laughs> like, out of my control. And the thing that bugs me is there's constant scenes in all three movies, or at least the last two. Of Yoda and Mace Windu just hanging out uh-huh. in that like dark room that they hang out, the yeah. little, little meditation room, this little office. Yeah. They never, never chat about this. They never, you know, they no. be batting uh- a couple theories <laughs> back and forth. Also, like I understand George Lucas is trying to develop his own world with these three movies, but the word younglings, whenever it's said, just makes me like I can believe everything. I can believe there's international <laughs> space women I want to have sex with, but not that the word youngling is in Carmen Perlance anywhere. Yeah, Carmen Perlance anyway. Yeah, yeah. Carmen Perlance. Carmen, Carmen, Car- 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 Carmen with, Perlance within the Phantom Menace universe. That's yeah. what right. it's called. It's called Carmen Perlance. Yeah. Um, that younglings, does sound like a youngling Star Wars sounds like. A, it's a predatory word. Like there's Very a line so. in that Padme says, I think in episode three, where it's something along the lines of, "He got the younglings." Yes, yes, and I'm yes. like, "How did you direct that scene? <laughs> like, how did you say to like tell another human to say that?" And they were like, "All right, sure, I'll cash this check." I'm pretty sure they must have just sprung in our last day of filming. You're like, <laughs> Natalie, uh, oof, we need one more thing. We actually, oh my god, just say it right now. Okay, we got it. Let's go. go. Well, right. and the, the toughest part from go a directing standpoint was that George Lucas had to CGI out the vomit coming out of Natalie Portman's <laughs> mouth as she delivered that line. There was vomit just trickling from the corners of her mouth Padme. as she said, young... Mm. Padme. 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 My God. Uh, that's our next episode. Next episode, we're going to talk about that's oh, Padme, the lack right, of Padme. Right, right, right. We've got to be focused. We've got to be razor sharp. we got six more episodes to get How are we going to do six more episodes? i got a whole plan. Oh, God. It's going to be four fan fiction episodes. Okay. So, so that I can get on board with. Yeah. Jedi Order. There's the opening sequence. They're fighting together, yeah. right? Then they come back. Palpatine asks Anakin to be his representative. Sure, right. Sows yeah. division. He sows division. Goes to the Jedi. The Jedis are like, we will not mm-hmm. let you become a Jedi Master, but we'll let you have a seat in the council, which is a real slap in the face. Yeah, real dick move. 
and and then they're also but do spy on Palpatine for us, please. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So Anakin now starts spending a lot of time with Palpatine, buddy, buddy, as we've talked about we've, in yeah. previous we've. episodes, and which sets the stage to now have the other guys go, "What do we do?" And they go, "Well, that that Grievous guy." Right. Oh God, General Grievous. I I just saw it, and I always forget him. Yeah. I know. Right. You always forget that guy. It's like I don't know. He's just not threatening to me. No, because he's coughing. It's because he's a coughing robot. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess we're going to talk about Grievous a little bit. This we got to talk week, about Grievous right? some yeah. more. I, because I call him Lord Robitussin. <laughs> and also, like, I guess he's like he's like Mike, Mike is, didn't like that. No, Mike like didn't a, like that. <laughs> no, I like God, it. God, I'm never going to fucking. Yeah, that, that would have died in the, in the writers' room. Oh my god. Um, but like, he's got like I guess an alien head, and the rest is droid, mm-hmm. which is cool in theory. But you don't get any more from that. You're just like always oh, got like. Weird eyes. He's got bits. Yeah, he's got bits. Got backstory human bits. would have been fun. Backstory. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. To is his introduce... real name Grievous? Is that just convenient? <laughs> it's very convenient. <laughs> like, is it like John Grievous? And he's like a general. John Grievous. <laughs> John William Grievous. <laughs> um, no, yeah. To introduce a coughing robot with no explanation. <laughs> yeah. And like have that be his first scene, in, and he's wearing a cloak, and he's, he's got cold. a limp. Right, <laughs> he's got a limp. It's so much business. And, it's so much business. <laughs> and, so then, much business. and then he's like, uh, "Hello, Jed." He yeah, talks like Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, and he's like, "I collect lightsabers." <laughs> <laughs> and it's yeah, it's like too many bits, too many bits in one mm. character. And but think about it, episode one, you got Darth Maul. He's so cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. he's cool. all you know. He's got horns. He's got like painted face. Very intimidating. Very yeah. intimidating. Yeah. Episode two, like your sort of sub villain, I guess, is Django Fett, who uh-huh. has a jetpack. And he's, sure. cool. he's all right. Yeah. He's not bad. Yeah. Yeah. And then the third one, they were like, we really, you know, we really need to cook up a good because it's sort of like a video game. He's <laughs> yeah. the sub boss, right, right? Right. He's your he's your yeah. second from last yes. boss. Yes. Yeah. Let's say a Jedi a Jedi killing robot. What, what is he? He spins, he spins lightsabers, lightsabers. which yeah. sounds cool. Like when I heard all about this, him, it right. sounded so cool. Yeah. And then you see it, and you're like, you're not really using that. Yeah, you're not using it, and like, you're, he's just a, he's a little CGI blob that Obi Wan sort of just jumps into. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we have a term we use coined by uh, previous guest Morgan Evans for when the George lets the characters really uh, get, go loose physically, which is when they start flubbering. Yeah, they just turn into flubber. <laughs> yeah. When you yeah. just have things moving around. <laughs> yeah. And part of the problem is he has two straight movies where an infirm old actor has to do a lot of lightsaber fights. Yeah. So then they just flubber. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm look. I went to the Grievous Wikipedia page because right. I think we we do have enough questions about the backstory. I do want to see. Okay. Uh, let's see where we where just we go from the start of the Clone Wars to the the robot army is led by a robot cyborg in internal organs that we've never heard of before. Who we've never heard of who's killed a bunch of Jedi's apparently and or stolen just their four. lightsabers at least four. You're supposed to assume he's killed a lot, but it could like he just started this collection. Do you th- yeah, do you think he was like, "All right, four, I have four arms, so I'm going to stop there." It just seems like it's 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 like the Jedi on one hand are like always aware of everything, but as soon as they turn their back to you, they don't remember you're this there. This is exactly why this movie is so frustrating. You it, can't have the Jedi's be so all-powerfully aware right. and then have this movie happen, right? <laughs> They're like they just they're bad at also like when the five of them face Palpatine and suddenly none of them know how to use a lightsaber. Like there's like they go oh, to yeah, the rest right. of yeah, and he yes, just sort of dives yes. right yeah, into it. Yeah, he just him. dives right in and they're like, Oh yeah, shit. Ah! Like, we didn't expect this <laughs> when we turned on our lightsabers. And have been told this guy's a Sith Lord. <laughs> like we literally just found this out. Okay, so this is a a really big bummer. And I'm, it's way too long, so I'm just going to breeze over some of really this. Really just right. bite-sized chunks okay. right. with this. But he was like an organic alien creature. Okay, They cool. have a picture of him here. He looks like sort of like a tribal, okay. like an Amazonian tribal yeah, warrior. He's sort cool. of half-assed. He's yeah. got a mask that looks kind of like the Grievous robot mask now. But he's like humanoid in structure, and he was on this primitive planet where they were these cockroach aliens. Or these praying mantis aliens. Praying yeah. mantis aliens. Yeah. That like, is a praying mantis, mantis alien, my friend. Constantly attacking them. He had a weird amount of anger that everyone always commented upon. Ooh, this Too angry. this boy, what's his name? His original name he was... He sure is Grievous. Yeah. Qu- <laughs> well, well. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, Uh-oh. his original name was Quayman Jai Shalal. Okay? Oh, too, off the tongue. Too Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> he had to change it for showbiz. <laughs> but yeah, showbiz. yeah. Um, too ethnic. But he... Um, <laughs> everyone was like, you're too angry. You should funnel this anger into something productive, like fighting off these praying mantises that attack. Right. He became very good at fighting them off. Okay. But everyone was always worried about his anger. He met a woman. He fell in love. Oh, she yeah, died. Yeah, was yeah. taken from him. 
Oh, come on oh, now. Jeez. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, the two of them were separated. She died violently on a barb shear by the creature. Uh, Shalal did what he could to bury him. This is the <laughs> relevant barb. paragraph. A barb. This is the the relevant paragraph I'm going to okay. read. Shalal did what he could to bury his grief. Shalal. To bury his grief. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah. He ended up taking 10 wives and siring 30 children. What? But none of them, spouse or child, seemed to be able to fill the void Kumar's death had left in him. <laughs> is Kumar his wife? Or his ex wife, <laughs> yeah. Eventually, he realized that it was his destiny to mourn her for as long as he lived. With this realization, Queen Jai Shalal cast off his own identity, adopting a name more appropriate to being destined to grieve forever. And even more terribly, who was determined that he would not do so alone. He would be grievous as well as heartbroken for the rest of his life. Wait, is he like, a, is he a real general or was. I guess he, he, he was, was later yeah. promoted to general. <laughs> yeah, he was later promoted to general. <laughs> or, he was then later <laughs> fighting in a ship, and the ship was bombed, and he was blown up, and they rebuilt him for, uh, yeah, via Cyborg. He's, he's like the $6 million man, basically. Okay, cool. He yeah. also has the exact same fucking arc as Anakin. He yeah. was a young boy that everyone said had too much anger. Yeah. Right. He fell in love with someone. That, that love led to his own secure insecurity. Changed yeah. his name to something crazy. Yeah, <laughs> and then was rebuilt as a robot person. <laughs> yeah. But I don't think Darth Vader's going to take 10 wives. That's, I don't either. That's a wrinkle. I don't either. It's I 30 mean, children. Imagine also, like, who's your dad? Uh, it's, it's it's the guy who named himself Grievous. Like kidding. Screaming Jay Hawkins General had, Grievous? like, 100 kids. Yeah. <laughs> do, you know, do you know General Grievous? Uh, yeah, he's my yeah. dad. <laughs> he's my dad, but he really never got over some other lady, not my mom. Is he a good dad? Well, it's like, sometimes I feel like he is. <laughs> Well, the fr- he's good at fathering people. I don't yeah. know if he's a good father. Also- <laughs> it's okay. I have nine stepmothers. Yeah. 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 T- ten wives, 30 children. None of them were able to fill the hole. Could you imagine just being like the, the 28th kid and turning five and him going like, nah, this nah. one's not going <laughs> to cut it easy. I really <laughs> thought you could be. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Uh, Grievous sucks. Yeah, uh, Grievous he's a, sh- a shitty character. It says here he smokes uh, two packs a day. Are you serious? Some Space cigarettes. Are you yeah. sure you're not reading your own Wikipedia, Ben? Uh, you got me. Uh, um, does he really? Is that what it says? No, I just made he's that up. Yeah. making that shit up. Ben never reads anything on yeah. Wikipedia. I remind you in the fans. He's, he's a sane man. <laughs> ben checks his email when we're recording. <laughs> um, I remind you, Ben, that uh, cigarettes do not exist in the Phantom Menace universe, only death, death sticks. sticks. Oh, death sticks. sorry, yeah. guys. No. Excuse yeah. me. The guy yes. in the bar in uh, Attack of the Clones. And Lance Lee's Bagano, part of my holy trinity of favorite characters from Attack of the Clones, which brings me to Uh-oh. the only character I like in Revenge of the Sith. You like a character in Revenge of the Sith? Mm-hmm. Okay. I previously disregarded your suggestion that this character could be my favorite character because I said it was too general, but I found out there's a full Wikipedia entry on them as well. Uh, who is it? Yeah, who? who? Obi-Wan follows uh, the lead to the, the planet where... What the hell is the planet called, actually, where where he's hanging out? I don't know. It's, it's sort of the jungle planet, but it's like oh, it's like a big hole, right? Like the whole planet, the whole city, it's like someone drilled a big hole in the ground, and the, it's sort of like Not- there's like a... A Guggenheim level, you know, like where there's all these sort of spiraling sub levels. Not Kashyyyk. No, no, no. no. Is it Utapa? Oh. It might be. It might be something like that. Uh, we're t- all bummed out just uh, saying these yeah. names. Tion Midon. We're bummed out that we know what, these what? names. What? What? Tion Midon. Wh- who's that? Who is the uh, the tall dude with the slits on his face and the sharp uh, teeth? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. With the sort of high collar. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's this, played by Bruce Spence? This guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bruce Spence, who is the uh, the gyrocopter pilot in uh, the Road Warrior, who's oh. like a fucking awesome. I think you expect us to go. What? what? <laughs> Holy <laughs> cow! No, he's like a cool fucking Australian. Well, because like... this movie was shot in Australia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, he's a cool fucking actor. He was the mouth of Sauron in uh, R- Return of the King. Sure. Yeah. He was one of the side sharks in Finding Nemo. Yeah, you were right. It was a uh, Utap. But to hey. Utapau, Utapau. Hey now. U- Utapau? How long did George spend on that name? <laughs> <laughs> sometimes I'm not, I'm not trying to be childish here. I'm trying to grow up on this podcast. But sometimes I really do think that George just uh, recorded uh, the sounds of himself pooping and then named things after the sounds that the poop made <laughs> when it hit the water. Utapau. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Most words in this universe sound like diarrhea sounds. How many how many Ys are in the name Kashyyyk? All the Ys. Just yeah. put all the Ys you got in there. Yeah, if if there were a vowel, just make it a Y. That's yeah, sort of the rule with, yeah. <laughs> uh, he goes to Tian Midan and he's like, uh, hey, I'm looking for Grievous. And Tian Midan's like, no Grievous here. And he's like, because there's this war going on. He's like, nope, no war here, no mm-hmm. Grievous. 
don't know what you're talking about. And he's like, do you mind if I use the bathroom quickly? And Dan Vidon's like, sure, use the bathroom. Hold on, I just have one thing to tell you. There's a ton of war going on here. Grievous is right. <laughs> Grievous is literally downstairs. Right. But he like leans in yeah. and speaks in a quieter voice, but not that quiet a voice. Yeah. Where like, I don't understand how anyone who is spying on him, because then they cut to the balcony and there's like a balcony that's like maybe a hundred feet away where one of Grievous's like Magna guards yeah. is spying on them. And yeah. it's like, oh, he didn't raise any suspicion when Obi-Wan was there. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. I don't know. It's stupid. <laughs> whatever, it's whatever, like, whatever. Like, dumb, yeah. dumb. So he's like, you, you gotta, you gotta. Yeah, uh, Grievous please is here. Kill General Grievous. Please kill General Grievous. He is in room A14. <laughs> he's in <laughs> conference room A14. <laughs> he is here. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, he's giving a lecture. <laughs> Am I? Right? This planet's like the Guggenheim. This it's like, like it's Guggenheim. like a weird tube in the yeah. ground. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I also think for a series of films that are that are hyper titled Star Wars, mm -hmm. I don't think Georgie e. Porgy understands what a war is because <laughs> like any time a war is brought up in this movie, he's like, no, there's a ton of war on this planet. <laughs> and you see the planet, it just looks like a museum. <laughs> There's, like, no battle happening. Well, the other thing is the movie's called Star Wars, and they were like, oh, shit, we're at the Clone Wars at the end of Attack of the Clones, yeah. right? All right, this is going to be awesome. We're going to see all this war. And then we cut to, like, ten years later. It's yeah. like, well, the war's over. We just oh. finished the war. Yep. <laughs> war and with finished. that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and the way the war breaks out at the end of Attack of the Clones is, like, if they called in cops to mediate a boxing match that got out of hand <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. then it turned into a war. Yeah. Like they send in the clones because there's a bad arena battle happening and then within 13 seconds it's a full on war. Yeah, within 13 seconds people being loaded into ships. Yeah. yeah. Um so uh yeah, who's your favorite character? Tian We're on the goes, "Hey, you want to help find Grievous? Jump on that thing right there." And it is Boga. Yeah, he's a he's oh, a yeah. dactyl, a veradactyl. Okay, yeah, I thought it was a dactyl. I've been misspeaking for the last couple of weeks. It's a veradactyl uh, from Utapau. Um, it looks like an iguana, right? No, yes, it's a big iguana. It's, it's big, a big iguana. It's okay. a big iguana. Obi Wan rides it around in some of the worst, C most spectacularly bad CGI. Right? And it's also like it just feels like they're like, oh, we could do this, so let's make the scene with no real purpose to it. Yeah, it's kind of like. Should Obi Wan just walk over there? Nah, nah. let's get an iguana. Yeah, what if he rode a giant lizard. And everyone was like, "Sure, George." There, there might as well be people like carrying plate glass and like that he could smash through it. Like, I mean, it's that sort of like unnecessarily uh, silly. It also feels like the movie was made with less enthusiasm. The movies were yeah. made increasingly less enthusiasm. Like, one is weird but fun. Yeah. Two is. Terrible, but trying to do interesting things. Yeah. And then this one's just like, I don't know. What it a all lizard. Turns bad. Like, at least in two, you had, like, a wacky bounty hunter. Yeah. Uh, you had, like, that fat dude who owned a diner. Dexter, Dexter Jester. Jester. <laughs> Part two of my holy trinity. <laughs> yeah, you're hitting all of Griffin's favorites. Yeah, we, we see <laughs> very see if you can similarly. get the third guy in, uh, in Attack of the Clones. I don't remember who it is. I'm trying to remember who it is. Who is oh, oh, it's the returning character from Phantom Menace. Oh, Watto? Yeah. Watto oh, again. oh, yeah. Yeah, Watto plus Hat. Hatney? Yeah. My Holy Trinity from Phantom Menace is Watto. Watto's not in this one. Is Watto, Boss Nass, and Tarples? That, that, that's who you like in this one? No, in, in Phantom oh, Menace, it, that was my Holy Trinity, right? Uh, Watto, Boss Nass, and Tarples? Like, well, yeah. But then there was TC14. Oh, yeah. Oh, hi. oh yeah, I love TC14. <laughs> oh, yeah, my God. Right. Mike, how do we not get you on here soon? Yeah, Mike, you really should have been on this podcast from the beginning. We oh, are man. birds of a feather. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, I just read Boga's entire Wikipedia entry, and there's nothing of interest in there. Uh, but, but, I, cause you had said maybe that's your favorite character, and I said I don't think, because I don't think it's a defined character, I think it's just part of a species. Has a name, though. Boga, and she's, it's female, and she's the fastest on the planet, and that's all they have to say about her. The other thing it says is that, uh, Obi-Wan leaves her for dead because he assumes that she dies, but she yes. does, and she goes on to live a long life. She falls. Yeah, but quite she survives the ways. fall, Wait, says. she goes on to live a long life? Like, yeah. does she have kids, or? Yeah. Yeah. Probably some iguana babies. Yeah, oh, she that's has great. Uh, she has ten husbands. <laughs> ten, she has ten husbands, kids. thirty children, but none of them replace the the part of her heart <laughs> of that Obi Wan held. Um, Does Obi Wan just kind of randomly jump on her, or is she like given to him? I can't. I remember. I think Tia Minon's like, go jump on. Yeah, jump we, on we, we have this lizard. Yeah, you know, she's like, the fastest on the planet. I, I know it's a big imposition to ask you to kill General Grievous, but maybe if you jumped on this iguana, <laughs> but like, let's sweeten the deal. <laughs> you can ride my lizard. You don't even have to give it back. It's cool. <laughs> Let it fall as far as you want. It, 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 it'll live a long life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is my favorite section of the movie. I don't know why. I'll tell you why. Although I can't name another section that I really prefer. Yeah, so. I have yeah. no favorite section yeah. on this one. No, this is this is why, and I liked it. I'll I'll say a lot less this time than the first time. Sure, rewatching it. 
uh, now this fourth rewatch or whatever it is. But um, it's my favorite section of the movie because it's fucking silly. It is very silly. It's very silly. And Ewan McGregor is playing it up. Yeah. He's yeah. having some fun. He's doing yes. like a sort of Errol Flynn, old timey yeah. swashbuckler, yeah, 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 yeah. like really broad. And the rest of this movie is so laden and like fucking just self serious and oh, yeah. everything. Yeah. And it's like, I, you know, we Except talk- for the opera house scene. Except for the opera scene. Oh, yeah. We've Which talked about we how fucking funny Phantom Menace is and how much we're missing those wall-to-wall laughs in this movie. <laughs> I don't need comedy, but if you're doing it in a way that's set in space, why not? And everything's CGI and you can create anything you want. Yeah. Why not have a fucking dude on a lizard chasing a coughing robot <laughs> on a one-wheeled bike? Because it's too much stuff. No, it's, just it's, no. It's so stuff. much stuff. It's I'm saying, stuff. I'm saying maybe he should have that much stuff. <laughs> no. Well, I'm like, the original, you know, you look at the original movie, like, they're actually on a set. Yeah, you know, like there's the like CG Phantom windows. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what yeah, I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, Phantom yeah, there's yeah. CG windows, windows and everything, yes. but you know, no, they're, they're, it's clean. It's 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 clean, it's clean yeah. but you can actually see sets. Whereas all the CG, you can tell that nothing's actually happening. Yeah, it's blur on blur on like, blur. Like Darth Maul is a real person. Yes. Not a, I mean, not a real person. But no, he is. He's a real person. <laughs> yeah, he's a real person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, whereas Played Grievous himself. is just a CG villain. Yeah, who yeah. voiced him? Some guy, right? It was the sound guy. It was yeah, Matthew the, Wood who was the sound yeah, designer. Like a sound engineer. Because yeah. Gary Oldman was supposed to do it and then he couldn't do it. Yeah. So they were just like, I don't know, you do just it. Just get some guy, make him cough. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, can you do like a Dracula yes. voice? All right, great. But this is, you know... Uh, Kenobi. And this really feels like a movie that was directed 50% by a special effects team left entirely their own devices. Yeah, yeah. And George has said as much in, like, behind-the-scenes stuff that he, like, for these big action sequences, wrote a sentence that's like, Obi-Wan chases Grievous down a hall. And yeah. then was like, you come up with whatever you want. Great writing, yeah. by the way. Like, 15 minutes of visuals. You know, when people say, uh, show, don't tell, they don't mean... Don't tell anything. <laughs> <laughs> he does. I they mean, don't mean show and keep secrets. <laughs> just show some shit and just do that. That is, it is literally that. But you're, I mean, yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's some business. Give us some business. <laughs> we need some business now. This is a businessy movie. And then, so Obi Wan rides Boga uh, up yeah. to the rafters, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like in a theater. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like watching the council of all the bad guys. Yeah, as you and, do. Right, and Grievous is going like, "Go to Mustafar, I'll meet you there." Yeah. Then Obi Wan jumps off a of boga, drops down, like very theatrically, like. Yeah. Ah! yeah, this part is actually okay. Where Ewan McGregor is kind of like, you know, he's sort of doing yeah. all these like yeah. stances, yeah. Yeah. and he's he's being like, "I'm gonna kill you, you motherfucker!" You know, like essentially is right. what yeah. he's, he's saying like, to Grievous. I'm a Jedi, and Grievous is like, "Well, I was trained by a Jedi. Mm, who cares? That dude Dooku, so just as good." Throws off his cape, reveals that he has four arms. Yeah, puts they kind of split apart. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so they look pretty weak because like each arm they is technically shitty. half yeah, like of an little, arm. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. yeah. It's it's like it's like split string cheese. It's also, it's, like, <laughs> <laughs> it's also just that annoying thing where they're like like look at this toy, see, like move yeah. all of his yeah. arms. Yeah. You know, it, it it's just a little much. You could just see the push button. Yeah, the, the arms split spin. up. Yeah. yeah, you're also given no time to be afraid of it. You're not. You don't see him use it like against other Jedi before no. in it's the a movie. Very good point. Mm-hmm. You know, where you're like, oh shit, this thing exists. You're like, all right, he's got this other thing now. It, it's just him saying like, see, I got lightsabers from other people. Yeah, right. unseen. Like the only other time we've seen Grievous is when he captured. Obi Wan and Anakin at the start of the movie, and they immediately just uh, take their lightsabers back and and he, yeah. and he wasn't really fighting that much. No, he's much. just coughing. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, he's running after him, shooting his blaster a little bit, but he wasn't like a fucking physical acrobatic guy. Yeah, and and not to mention that he's so run down. Yeah. When you see, he's coughing. Yeah. He's hunched over. The second he throws his cape off, suddenly he has the most mobility any character has ever had in any film. Right. Right. So he splits off. He's got four lightsabers. Yeah. He kind of spins them. Yeah. Obi Wan. Does not win this fight. I know that, yes, Obi-Wan wins this fight. Yeah. I know this is a sci-fi movie. I know we have to suspend our disbelief. Grievous takes the fucking forearms and starts spinning them at, like, full speed, like mm-hmm. 500 miles per hour. Yeah. So he's just got, like, two windmills going on either side. Yep, right. All he has to do is walk close to Obi-Wan. <laughs> yeah. And Obi-Wan is dead. And instead, Lucas lets Obi-Wan slowly... <laughs> beat him one arm at a time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? Like, his forearms are spinning so fast, and then he just goes, like, one hand done, and then, like, makes a pithy remark, and then, like, second hand done. No, absolutely not. You just think it's not plausible? Well, I mean, to Mike's point from earlier, his fighting is less precise 
than it was in Phantom Menace mm-hmm. when he was fighting one guy with two blades. Yeah, but right. that's because that guy was played by a person. Right. And they could figure out, like, stunts together. Right. But yeah. that's the problem. Yeah, that yeah. is the problem. <laughs> but Obi-Wan's just kind of standing still. Like, being what, like, uh. What yeah. was Grievous? Because, like, you know with Jar Jar, like, Ahmed Best was, like, in a suit, right? Yeah. He was like, like, was there a guy there? Like, no. what is it? Who's he fighting? I think they just had, like, a tennis ball on yeah. a stick. And yeah. they were like, all right, I'll swing his arms like yeah. crazy. It really that doesn't feel problem. like he has specific things. It's all after things. the fact. Yeah. Yeah. All yes. the lightsaber stuff in this one. It's yeah. just, I mean, not yes. Obi-Wan versus Anakin, I think, you know, they, 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 they got some stuff done there, right? They're kind yeah. of bashing away. But apart from that. Yeah, because it was two all... real people. Yeah, I'm sure they were in the same. Yeah, yeah. So, because like when yeah, when Sidious like kills the pterodactyl guy or whatever, I don't know the pterodactyl guy doesn't the other. It doesn't make carry him. <laughs> he's, he's taking him down one hand at a time. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, which really feels like a video game where it's like right. Here's yeah, the yeah, boss yeah. level. You have Aim to target it on one weak arm. Spot, yeah, yeah. Weak spot. Weak spot. Weak spot. And then when he's down to I don't know two arms, one arm, whatever he's got left. Grievous like does this thing where he flips back and then turns into a scorpion. <laughs> This happens it's, so quickly that it barely registers. And again, it you have no reason to know this is going to happen, so it doesn't have an effect on you when it right. does. Yeah. But he becomes Scorponok from Transformers. Like, his body completely recalibrates where then his head is at the front and his legs are over his head and his arms are like tentacles crawling on yeah, the he's floor. he's not really fair. No. No. Well, yeah. I mean, I don't think he has to be. No, but it's just kind of annoying. It's kind of know? annoying. Yeah. But, like, where's that cough? Where's this? Because <laughs> when, when we first see him and he's yeah, coughing and yeah. he's so feeble, he wasn't putting on, like, a fake show. He wasn't pulling, like, a Gene Wilder, like, walking out with a limp to then roll no, over no. and do this. Because he's limping and coughing in front of his coworkers. Like, he's just like, <clears throat> don't let the Jedi's in. And then suddenly he's got four arms. He can transform into different animals. Like Maybe, maybe like, the tragedy of, of General Grievous is he only feels good when he's fighting. Mm. Ooh. And that's it. Reading into the backstory there, I like it. That was his real love all along. <laughs> yep. Well, anyway, he dies. He dies. He dies. Let's talk about the shitty way where he, which he, I, which really bugs me. Uh-huh. Because you got Obi-Wan here. He's a Jedi master. He yeah. uses a blue lightsaber. He yeah. kills people with it. He chops yeah. them into little pieces. Yeah. As he die here, I don't know, he picks up like a blaster. And he like he like opens Grievous' thing with his literal, like with his hands. He sees that Grievous has, he has like, like organic organs. matter in his chest. Yeah. He sees he has a heart. So what does he do? He, he <laughs> shoots it well, dead. We, we all know if you shoot a heart, it blows up like a bomb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that your entire body catches on fire and you explode. And like fire pours out of your eyes. Right. Yeah. So he sees the heart and then has that realization. But I just hate the he's like, haha, I've got you. Uh, I'll just pick this up right here. And yeah. there you go. Right. Yeah. I think it might even be Grievous's blaster that he dropped yeah, earlier. It's yeah. so lame. Yeah. So stupid. Ugh. I hate this movie. To your point, not only this was there like- This is your favorite like, scene? The, no, the part where he's riding Booga is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Specifically, it's when he's- the chase. I like the chase. Yeah. Because it's just goofy. Mm, it's, it's just very goofy. goofy. It's a it's a welcome reprieve from from the just the 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 soul crushing devastation and and just boring bullshit of this other. Can we, can we also talk movie. about Order sixty six? Oh, oh yeah, we're, we're getting oh, we're Order getting 66, there. Oh, we're getting there. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I just wanted to point out merchandise spotlight, quick merchandise spotlight oh, to your point. Very quick, very quick. Go on, General Grievous. As as you correctly predicted, not only had like. A regular action figure with the sure. cape and a firing blaster, but also had one with the arms that the split arms apart. Split up, yep. Also had one where the arms rotated and separately had a battle defeat, final battle, General Grievous, where he was covered in fire and if you push the button, he exploded. So it really did feel like they designed General Grievous to have as many different action features as right. possible yeah, to probably, split him into yeah. separate characters. That's the whole merchandise spotlight. Ugh. I know it's not your favorite segment. No, it's okay. Order 66, though. I think Order we have to get to one thing before that. Oh, yeah? Okay. Which is the parallel plot line that is happening with Yoda at this time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the incredibly memorable parallel right. plot line. So there's a Jedi Council meeting right. where Kaiadi Mundi is a hologram. Yeah. Kaiadi Mundi is the penis head. You know him. Yeah, he looks yeah, like yeah. an Easter Island. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. he's saying, like, you know. You um, know Kaiadi Mundi. You know Come Kaiadi on. Mundi. You know, yeah, we're all friends here. We're all friends here with <laughs> Kaiadi Mundi. Um, he's saying, hey, Shit's going crazy. These plants are getting out of control. We got to take care of them. And they're like, I don't know. There are only so many of us. It can only be so many places at so many times. And Yoda's right. like, I got to go to Kashyyyk. Ugh. Yeah. And they're like, what? And he's like, it's an important. 
I think maybe Obi Wan says it's important. He's like, if we lose Kashyyyk, uh, things are going to be tough. Right. But this planet we've never heard of before. <laughs> it's never brought up anywhere. Right. But he he like makes it a point. He's like, I know we don't have time to save all these planets, but Kashyyyk is really holding the whole thing together. And Yoda's like, I have a long history with Kashyyyk. Sure. I go way back with them. Let me go stop by. Never heard of it. Before. Never heard of it before. Yeah. It's like if you had like a romantic comedy, and they're like, you can't get married. Steven's here, and you're like, that character is new to this movie. <laughs> We are 70 minutes in and you just introduced this guy. Like, why do I care about Kashyyyk? It's like well, it's oh. like if you made a movie where the dude who shows up in the wedding to interrupt it That's what I mean, yeah. wasn't introduced <laughs> until... I mean, yeah. Yeah. Like, like, Bill uh, Pullman start, suddenly <laughs> appears. Yeah. Excuse me. We um, need to go to Kashyyyk. Yeah. Is Yoda going with... Like what's he, what, what's the help of adding Yoda? Is he coming? Is he bringing clone troopers with him? Is that the idea? I think he wants think to get like the big yeah. furry dudes to be to join the clone troopers. But Wookies, I think they're good called relations Wookies. with the Wookies. Yeah. I have yeah. or something. He right. says something like right. that, which you don't know anything about. I, don't even talk. I don't think. No, and I wish people rolled their eyes. Like I wish the other Jedi were like, oh, uh, oh, fuck it. Right, <laughs> well, there is yeah, good there is the scene. This is important. There is the scene where they're in like the gunship. And it's Obi Wan, I think Mace Windu, and Yoda, and it's like they're each making separate stops. They like drop Obi Wan off at Utapau, mm-hmm. and they're like, "Give us a call if you need a ride back." Yeah. And Yoda's taking the ship the rest of the way over to to Kashyyyk. And there's the part where they, right. they're talking about Anakin and like, uh, you know, saying like, uh, you know, a lot of anger, this and that. What What do you think we should do about him? Is Bellingham with Palpatine? Whatever the fucking conversation is, this repetitive conversation. Yeah. And they go, but isn't he the chosen one? I mean, don't we believe he's going to bring balance to the force? And Yoda, like, like <laughs> runs his hands through his hair. There's this very <laughs> odd shot where he runs his hands uh, yep. through his wisp of yeah. hair, and then he just goes, misread the pros- prophecy we might have? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. And they're like, what? And he's like, I don't know. It's possible we misread the prophecy. Bring balance. Destroy. Who knows he's what it is? Really. <laughs> yeah. I know it's been brought up, and I'm sure it's been talked about a million times, but how do you not say bring balance when there's two bad guys and a billion good guys? <laughs> yeah. How do you not go like, let's not do this balance shit? <laughs> right. It's already imbalanced. <laughs> Like, in, like, he's like, you're supposed to bring, like, when Obi-Wan's yelling, I mean, I know you've talked about the following, yeah, oh, no, yeah, but yeah, when yeah. Obi-Wan's yelling at him, he's like, you're going to be the, you're supposed to bring balance. He did. He did. He did. He yeah. did his job. Yeah. Um, but but suddenly, like, it's like these three movies been sent around, like, this kid's got all this power. He's right, the chosen right. one. Yeah. But he's got all this anger. We don't know where to trust him. And Yoda's suddenly like, yeah, but also that prophecy thing might have been bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> it might have been based off a false premise. But they suck. Miss Reed, we may have. <laughs> you know, I mean, there are, if we didn't see the formation of a clone army coming, well, our powers yeah. really are. You know, they're always saying things like that. Like, our we're powers probably are screwed. Weak. Yeah. I used to be much more powerful. You know, someone's going around deleting planets from the Jedi archives. No one looking into that yeah. like you know there's so much shit going on that they're just not on top of so Yoda gets dropped off at Kashyyyk, yeah. Kashyyyk yeah. with a bunch of his clone trooper it's, buddies it's yeah. the suckiest thing in the world a, a battle ensues I mean it's like they go like and now we fight and then there's a shot of, of some, some Wookiees Tarpal going. standing on top of a thing and not holding tarples. his arms uh, Tarful Tarful sorry Tarpal's is the Gungan I know my two <laughs> favorite generals yeah. um, uh, Tarful is like yeah. holding his arms in the air outstretched and you're like oh shit crazy battle it's a lot of business for like 35 seconds and then there's a white bed yeah, yeah like, like in the middle of the war there's a white bed and like in trees and shit right. oh they literally do a Tarzan roar at one yeah, point yeah they do a Tarzan you're roar like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, like, and it has no effect on anything yeah. Well, it's just not. It's characters we don't know and fighting it's like each some, other. It's like a weird reverse D-Day. Like, the robots yeah. are on the beach or something. Yeah. There's, like, a beach involved. Oh, there's a lot of beach involved. Yeah. And, like, the Wookiees are valiantly fighting back. It's like, this is the first army we've seen that seems to have been able to hold their own against the droid army. Yeah, they're droids. They, sh- they're, they suck. And they yeah. have, the like, Gungans wooden weapons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're beating them with, like, wooden weapons well, and vines. Th- then Yoda, like, says some shit like, you'll always be my best friend, Chewbacca. And yeah, Tarful, these- and I'm like, who are you? <laughs> Like, we've just met you. We just met you. Chewbacca, I, I didn't even notice this fucking Chewbacca asshole until, like, no. the third time rewatching it. Because Tarful's the dude he keeps on talking to. Right. Tarful's got this majestic, like, armor on. Yeah, he's and got his a helmet. helmet. Yeah. He's got a lot of and stuff. And you see him leading action. Chewbacca's just a dude standing behind him. He's it's got like, a bandolier. It's he's like got he's, a bandolier. You know, he's like Tarful's, like, handmaiden or something. Yeah. <laughs> and at the end, like, they're giving Yoda an escape pod to escape from. Yeah. Yoda essentially just watches this battle, right? Right. And then yeah, what help is he providing? Very exactly? little, little to whatever. None. Right, it'd be kind of cool to see Yoda kind of 
popping around with his lightsaber, you know, yeah, just yeah, slicing yeah. things up. There's Why one not? thing where you see him stab a clone trooper. In the- uh, oh, no, that's earlier in the movie. Yeah, not anyway. a clone trooper. That'd be messed up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah. Uh, no, no, does that happen after? I don't know. Whatever. Oh, who cares? Anyway, it uh, doesn't matter. Stupid movie doesn't matter. It's he, I know what you're talking yeah. about. He cuts off the heads of two clone troopers yes, right happens. when Order 66. Order 66 is oh. Because he's the only Jedi who can yeah, he fucking sees it turn coming. around. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he senses it. He goes like, uh, He's like, oh. Yeah, yeah, but they're they're Jedi. Like, they it's not like fucking know. Like, they know. They're Jedi. We have seen them in previous movies. Like, shit will happen in another room, yeah. right. in another part of a ship, yeah. and they will go, whoa, 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 what's that, what's that, what's right. that? Not to mention, the traditional thing is that when a, a Jedi is born, a child is born with force anywhere in the galaxy, yeah. the Jedi Council can feel it, yeah. can feel the birth and immediately go out and seek and that And when person. all the Jedis die, Yoda has like a, a stroke, practically. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he, he drops elapses. his cane. There's he a drops his cane. <laughs> but but so this moment where they give him the escape pod, they make it out of war, right? Okay, yeah. <laughs> they make it out of this two hour war alive. Right. And then they find an escape pod for Yoda and they go like Whoa. Right. And Yoda goes like Thank you, Tarful. You're my best friend. <laughs> but is that Tarful he just goes like Tarful. Like he gives him like a little <laughs> nod, he goes like Tarful. Yeah. You know, like a little nod, and then he turns to Chewbacca and he goes like and Chewbacca, thank you so much. I will never forget you. <laughs> It's like Tarful's right <laughs> there. That's not. It's only also, two. Guys. We don't know any of these Who's characters. Who the fuck is Chewbacca? <laughs> this guy's done nothing. Also, like, get out of there. Get out the of Jedi's there. The Jedi's are being exterminated. We don't need. A, oh, and Chewbacca. Like, here I got you this espresso <laughs> set. Like, well, and, and here's the thing. So, you know, seriously, call me anytime. I don't know where I'm going to be living because apparently the Jedi Temple is on fire. Palpatine now has full power. Yeah. He executes Order 66. Okay, so we're going to talk about Order 66. Right, which is kill all the Jedi. Let's, I mean, I think Mike wants to say something about it. I mean, we've covered a lot of it. I just, I don't understand it. I also don't understand, like, is it like some genetically implanted thing yeah that is it have? like a sleeper agent thing? or are they what just like it? dicks where they're like all right kill the jedi now it's it's like a manchurian candidate thing right like right. they just have to hear the words order 66 i, I was thinking for- like a reverse robocop like directive four yeah, yeah it's like right. they they have to yeah now here's my question do they have to hear it from palpatine yeah because they all have it like another guy popping yeah, up he, on the little he, communicator also does he have to call all of i them? was thinking <laughs> that yeah. <laughs> one by one, there's no group text he can use. All right, let's say uh, now it's a commander. What's this yeah. guy? Commander Timmy. All right, yeah, just, here we go. Just start Order a fucking 66. Facebook thread or right. something. Yeah. Also, are there guys that didn't hear it? Yeah. Yeah. That are like, one about the- huh? <laughs> like, Which one? <laughs> like, there's yeah. like gotta be like say again. Clone troopers are just like they're like in the bathroom when it was called, and they come up like, what the fuck are we doing? <laughs> one guy was at lunch and he turned his comm link <laughs> yeah. off. Yeah, he's, he's like, just like eating I'm just a give Reuben. Give a break. <laughs> Um, um, no, but he, he calls this thing, right? It, it yeah. seems... So it's after Palpatine's been revealed. Yeah. After he's taken down Mace Windu. Right. After he's t- knighted uh, Anakin, Darth mm-hmm. Vader. Yeah. And uh, he's all lobby. He's he all looks dead. like the influence from Dick Tracy. Yeah. You know? And and he, he says, you know, the Jedi's are out of control, lead the Republic, whatever. Yeah. Execute Order 66. Yeah. And, I mean, to your point, it feels like these... Clone troopers have been working alongside the Jedi. Some of them yeah. seem to become friends. Oh, yeah. Obi-Wan yeah. knows a couple of them by name. Yeah, Calls Commander Cody. Cody. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Cody, how are you <laughs> doing, yeah. Cody? Hey, Cody, what's up? Yeah. Um, but the second he gives them the order, it doesn't feel like a Manchurian candidate thing where they like switch on and start following commands. They go, like, uh, sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, got it. Cool. Yeah, yeah. No, if that's what you tell us to do. Yeah. And, and they just start murdering every Jedi. Yeah. Yeah. And we see it like, like there's one who shoots his, a Jedi's ship down, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's a couple where it's like, yeah, there's like two clone troopers and they just shoot a Jedi in the back. <laughs> like two or three guys. There's yeah. a point where they go to back to, excuse me, the Jedi Council and like half of the council is holograms. And so yeah. you're like, oh, they're all fucking split up? Like, yeah, what's they're going all on? over the Clone Wars. It seems like all of them were pulling a Yoda and picking one planet they like. Yeah, right. Yeah. And what's your to favorite fight, yeah, planet? Fight alongside them. So it's like this really sad montage. Yeah. yeah. Very dramatic, swelling strings mm-hmm. of People one dying. by one. Like, Heidi Mundi is Heidi like, Mundi. hey, follow me. And he runs ahead. They don't follow him and they shoot him. He's like, yeah. what? That yeah. one's a little sad. That one's a little <laughs> that sad. That one's a little brutal. Like, oh, yeah. man. Because he's kind of got a face. 
you know, some of them don't really have human faces, so you're yeah. kind of like, eh, whatever. But yeah. he's got a real sad face. You don't find this whole sequence sad seeing all these characters who have been so well developed over three <laughs> movies who we love and know so intimately die? You weren't uh, deeply emotionally oh affected God. by so- watching Adi Gallia? <laughs> I, I just don't understand how, like, as a society, like, I feel like as a, that's almost like if you, like, shot down all the FBI agents and yeah. then people are like, all right, he's our leader now, I guess. Yeah. Like, I guess I'm, we just live in a world where all cops are dead. I mean, <laughs> but, like, he declares himself the emperor uh, and then people are cool with it. Yeah, they just they just applaud. They're like, all right, all right, great, great. You look fine. You look great. <laughs> so you're telling me we had two armies <laughs> and then one of the armies killed the other army, but we're doing better as a result. That's what you're telling and me. And you are now our leader. Got it. All right. And of the, of the two armies, you picked the clones, not the, like, space wizards. Those guys seemed really on top of shit. Right. But okay. Also, nobody gets weirded out when he says they're changing it to a galactic empire, which feels just like... I know, yeah. What if, like... <laughs> <laughs> like, when someone's like, this is going to be a Obama galactic Obama tomorrow is like, now. the United States of evil is the <laughs> yeah. name of this country. And people are like, great, he's got direction. Ah, I all like right. it, I like right, it. Good. He's got a plan. Oh, his face is all scarred. Something bad must have happened to him. Uh, uh, but that only could be by accident. It's like, not of his own doing. Yeah. It's like when Bane in the crappy Dark Knight movie oh, yeah. like comes out and he's like, uh, uh, you know, Commissioner Gordon lied to you. He said it on this piece of paper I have here, <laughs> which I will not show to anyone. And everyone's like, oh, oh I hate no! Commissioner Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> Um, anyway, uh, having produced a piece of paper... Anyway. I've, been, I've been referring to it as a Jedi Holocaust. Mm. We got an email from a listener named Brandon Bernstein who suggested we call it a uh, a Jedi side instead because sure. it's a Jedi genocide. Yeah. Um, you can but, call it what you will. But it is like you think about, you know, something like, not, not to invoke George Lucas's favorite subject clearly, something like 9-11 yeah. and how hard it was and, and right. still for our nation to recover from yeah. the tragedy of that many people dying at once, right? Yeah. Yeah. And that was a totally random right. cross-section yeah. of people. Something like the Holocaust where it was like all the Jews are gone Yeah, was like, well, this is a hate it's crime. It's targeted. Yeah. This right. is targeted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Jedis are this even weirder thing because they're not only like, is it a hate crime, but they're also the people that we entrusted to protect us in this galaxy. Yeah. But it's also like everyone with one particular job. What if it was right. like, let's kill every garbage man in America. They Their power has gone unchecked long <laughs> enough. Right. Everyone would be like, so fucking freaked it would, out. It yeah. would be crazy. Yeah. 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 Like, even if it was a garbage man, people would just be, like, it would take them years to recover. No one would ever be a garbage right. man again. No, no. <laughs> like, no one would ever want to do that. But secondly, if they were the guys who were kind of your space cops. Yeah. It'll- like, for them to just so openly be like, oh, okay, whatever Palpatine says, is, is nuts. It's bananas. Bananas. It's also, like, such a sad thing to be like, hey, I, I built this great world. You know the coolest part of it? The Jedi? That n- none of them anymore. None of them. Yeah, no we more. can't have those guys. That thing that you specifically liked about my science fiction universe. Gone. Too Gone. much fun. <laughs> Too much fun. So, who survives? Uh, uh, Yoda, Yoda and Obi Wan. Yoda or? survives by chopping off some clone heads. Yeah, right. And then, well, then he fights Palpatine. He and gets he back to the Palpatine. Jedi. Yeah. They 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 throw a bunch of uh, pogs at each other. <laughs> yeah. yeah, in the same Basically. room. Yeah, <laughs> they sort of have a pog fight. And then he essentially just retires. He's yeah. Then like, he's like, I messed up. I really messed up. I wasn't defeated, but I also didn't conclusively win the battle. I guess I should just leave. Yeah. You guys so he, hide me. Yeah, yeah. He just goes. Yeah. And so Obi Wan survives. Uh, is he on Uta? No, he goes to Tatooine. The oh, the two of them are on uh, fucking Alderaan. Yeah, Yoda. Alderaan. What's, yes. What's that? That's uh, uh, Organa's planet. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Right. I don't even remember yeah, he's this. one. Of the, he's one of the guys that takes one of the babies. Yeah, no, Jimmy Smith. No, hey, Jimmy Smith. I know Jimmy Smith. I know from Jimmy Smith. It looks like the moon. It's like lunar cavities with like little bubbles on it. Right. It cool. looks like our Earth moon. Great. And they, because he, fucking George Lucas's son, yeah, he saves killed. Jimmy Smith, the yeah. little kid, yeah. is Jimmy George Smith Lucas's goes, son. No! Yeah. For a character we've never seen before. Yeah. He teams up with Yoda and Obi Wan. They go back to his home planet. Yeah. And then they're like, what should we do about this? And it's like, well, we definitely shouldn't be Jedis anymore. <laughs> Number yeah. one, let's just stop being Jedis because yeah. that's not a cool thing to be anymore, apparently. Uh, number two, I have a great plan for the two Jedi kids that just got born, Anakin's kids. One, should be taken to Anakin's home. <laughs> well, I think never this, look there. This might be this might be next episode stuff. This might be it's next the, episode. It's stuff. The, I'm just saying, bad Jedi planning does not die with the Jedi Holocaust. Oh, of course not. Like no. they they yeah. stick to the bad plans. Yeah, but 
Organa is like, why, why don't you go to Tatooine where um, uh, Anakin's uh, relatives live? <laughs> and by Anakin's relatives, he means... His only living relative. His step... I guess stepbrother and his wife. Right, right. So it's right. it's his stepbrother and wife. <laughs> yeah. This is such a weird place through, to drop off someone's kid. Through the stepfather he met only after. One time, yeah, yeah, One yeah. Time. His mother had been kidnapped from the father. Like he yeah, met yeah. her. He didn't even yeah. see them yeah. together as a family unit. the second owner of his mother who then married her. <laughs> right. Yeah. His, his kid. <laughs> Although maybe that's a great place to snatch like a baby to be like, all right, who would you never go to see? <laughs> yeah. Oh, your yeah, stepbrother right. you met once. Yeah. A lot of bad memories over there. <laughs> that is not a fun back. place. Not bad memories, but like, who gives a shit? Like, exactly. You don't gotta keep up. It is kind of fun to imagine just like robot Darth Vader showing up and being like, "Hi," like, <laughs> like getting dinner with them and being like, "So how how yeah. are things How's at the moisture farm?" <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, it's crazy. We didn't even recognize you. You look so different than the last look time crazy we saw different. you. Different. <laughs> Has anyone told you this? <laughs> You're unrecognizable. <laughs> I went through a thing I'm mystified. <laughs> oh, it was real bad. It was bad real week. bad. <laughs> Trust yeah. me, you do not want me to take this mask off. <laughs> All right, not at dinner. <laughs> this is delicious, Baru. Is it del- <laughs> Brew is a good chef. Um, but yeah, uh, Obi Wan goes to Tatooine, and uh, Yoda goes somewhere. He yeah. just, he just he, goes he leaves. Off. He, just leaves. he gets in a ship and leaves. I'll hide. But they have one final conversation. But, it's not then. I think it's a little oh, before I when they're really traveling. I really wanted to get to this because it's hysterical. This is an important conversation. Okay. Yeah, it's literally they're like, okay, so what ha- what happened today? Uh, we didn't kill any of our enemies. Palpatine took over the galaxy. All the Jedi's were exterminated. That kid you were training was the kid you were instrumental. Training, yeah. Has turned into a homicidal maniac. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, oh, I forgot to tell you. One crazy thing that came up today. Remember Qui-Gon. <laughs> but he, you remember he that guy? pitches it like, do you remember that guy who was your master? You remember Qui-Gon Jinn? <laughs> he says he it like Obi-Wan might not remember. <laughs> <laughs> like, I recently heard from him. I can't believe I didn't tell you and this. And Obi-Wan's like, oh, God, he's going senile. <laughs> Qui-Gon's dead. He doesn't remember. It's like when your grandma calls out for the daughter who died 10 years earlier. He's Qui-Gon figured out how to, I don't know, turn into a spirit or something. He says he figured out how to transcend death by becoming part of the force or something like that. Good news, right? I got you a workbook that you have to, like, <laughs> just, I want you to look at it while yeah. you're in hiding. You're going to have a lot of free time, so, uh... <laughs> <laughs> also, good news, the whole reason fucking the entire, like, Galactic Republic, like, took over and the Jedi's fell and whatever was because Palpatine preyed on Anakin's insecurity about not being able to skirt death. Yeah. Meanwhile, Yoda knew the whole time, he was like, oh, no, no, the Jedi's figured out a way to skirt death. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. FYI. You FYI. Can, yeah, you can just come back. He could have just shared that information, <laughs> and none of this movie would have happened. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, but then everybody's skirting death, and so so Yoda That's says, true. "Yeah, then everyone." It's real propriety. It's a bad stand. <laughs> um, Yoda says to him, "He's like, uh, while well, you're hanging on Tatooine for the rest of your life, yeah. mm-hmm. if you could do me a favor and study, yeah, how to uh, transcend death." Yeah, it, it's the most annoying, tossed off, like grand idea. Yeah, he's like, Qui Gon has figured it out, but he didn't explain it to me. So if you're going to be alone on a desert planet yeah. for 30 years, maybe just try to talk to that ghost and figure out what's going on. And I heard there was a plan to bring Liam Neeson back for this, and that didn't work or something. Like, there were originally concepts that maybe Liam Neeson was going to show up in this. Yeah, thing. he was probably busy that weekend. <laughs> uh, probably had this? to pick up his laundry. Lucasfilm? No, no, never heard of you. No. <laughs> That's it. I mean, again, all this cool shit is just brought up right at the end of this movie. You have giant, like, nine-foot-tall hairy things. That's true. Mm-hmm. At five minutes, you have the ability to transcend death. Not in this movie. Nope. <laughs> like, what? Why do you bring these things up? And 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 who triumphs at the end of this movie? The the cartoon clone trooper guys right. who yep. are like just lame, and they all look the same, and they wear yeah. Those are the guys who win. It's like if you had a murder mystery and you put a gun in the drawer at the end of the play and went next play. That's gonna be pretty <laughs> good. <laughs> well, well, I want to see something happen this play. <laughs> We should call that the Lucas's gun theory of drama. That's the Lucas's gun theory. Yeah, that is totally Put right. Put a gun yeah. in a drawer and reference the fact that it's there. Did Lucas just read about that and was like, no, I'm going to make three movies. Wow, I knocked over Griffin's vitamin water. That's how angry David's getting right now. Three movies that set up all kinds of stuff. Are they going to pay off? No. No, no. definitely not. No. But we'll get a coughing robot thing. God. Oh, boy, wow. I'm actually worked up. Me too. Yeah. Uh, it's a good thing we took last week off because we needed to build up a reserve of this much anger. Yeah. But let's talk about the overall thrust of this. Okay. It's like, the, yeah. if you think about the movies as three movies, like, mm-hmm. it is this sort of, like, scathing thing about, like, 
the Jedi's unbecoming, right? Like yeah. every move mistake they make throughout three there's so many mistakes. Yes. They well, probably yes. shouldn't have adopted Anakin. No. He doesn't he kind of blows up in their face. Yeah. But even then they probably could have raised him better. Yeah, you know what I really dislike um about how they deal with Anakin? They constantly go like Anakin, I think you're really angry. Like, they don't go, like, we're the Jedis. We're these wise people yeah. of, of presumably, you know, selflessness and, yeah. and hopefully empathy. And control. Yeah. Right? To go, like, Anakin has anger problem. Plus, try to yeah. talk to him and be like, hey, Anakin, are you doing all right? Yeah. And What's so up, they Anakin? just keep on, like. Then maybe he'd say, like, well, I fell in love with Weena Midala. And then we're like, what? Whoa! Whoa! No, 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 no. That's bad. We That's got bad. rules here, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember when you were, like, a little kid and your parents would go, like, uh, somebody's tired, and you go like, "I'm not tired." Yeah, right. like you didn't want people telling you what you were. Yeah, yeah. that's how they tired. deal with Anakin throughout all three movies. Yeah, but they he, just go yeah. like, "Somebody's angry," and he's like, "I'm not angry." Yeah, and it's like just talk to him about what's going on in his life, massage these issues. I mean, it just seems like they don't. There's a lot of red flags. <laughs> oh yes, the movies. Hell of a lot of red. flags. Hell of a lot of red flags. Yeah. Um, and also the Sith. Like, let's not forget. They unveil themselves in episode one. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. They literally give them every opportunity, like, figure out who we are. We keep showing up. <laughs> yeah. They have three movies to do it. They don't do it. Yeah. Anakin figures it out and gets tempted to the dark and side. Also, this is over the course of, like, I'd assume 20-something years. It's a long time. You know, like, and they're like, the sit there back, they're like, ah, it's, I mean, fine. We killed one of them. That's it. Okay. <sighs> There's so many frustrating things about we this We killed series. one of them. There's only one Sith, right? Or is it two? I don't know. It's usually <laughs> two. I always forget if it's one or two. Yeah, we should check the Jedi archives sometime. Oh, the, our power to sense the Force has been diminished. Also, They whatever. say that all the time. Yeah. They keep saying their powers are diminished. Also, all the files in their Jedi archives have been deleted. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. And there's this clone army that a Jedi ordered. Let's Ooh. not Ooh. look into <laughs> it. <laughs> also, it's weird. The Chancellor's, like, not leaving office. He just keeps staying around. And everything kind of <laughs> conspires to, like, keep him in office. He keeps on creating new positions and then electing himself to them. It's that weird. seems bad. Yeah, you um, can't sense anything about him in the force, so it's probably okay. <laughs> right, <laughs> like yeah, he's yeah, probably yeah. a good guy. Yeah, I gave him a once over. He's fine. I gave him a once over. <laughs> <laughs> they're like airport security, yeah. where they're like, "Hey, if you don't have any like dark side water bottles, all right, you're in." And then like you find out someone just brought a bomb onto the plane. Right. He, they pat him down once with the back of their hands. Right. <laughs> and then, they're like, "You're cool. You're clean." He literally decorates his whole office red. Yeah, yeah. his whole office is red and black. Yeah, red and black. Yeah, yeah. And he writes Sith in the carpet. Yeah. He's also always asking a young Padawan to hang out with him, which, if not dark side, is still yeah. something to be questioned. Check that Seems out. like he has a taste We're, for the younglings. Can you let this 15 year old kid hang out with me for a few hours? Nothing will happen. Yeah. So, is this what Lucas is trying to say? Is that, like, all things must pass? The Jedi just became too, like, bloated and unreactive. You know, like, is this their problem? Well, that's, the balance had to come. That's the weird thing, is that like... Because it's literally two and two at the end of the movie. Yes, Palpatine... Balance. <laughs> they did it. Obi-Wan yeah. and Yoda, good. Yeah. Sidious and yeah, Anakin, no, bad, no, he, two and two. He balance. did bring balance to the Force. Yeah. <laughs> um, good job. And it almost would have been three against one, and then Anakin was like, no, I'll become a Sith. Yeah, like, sorry, you, buddy. You yeah. perfectly balanced <laughs> yeah. this. Um, the Sith and, and Palpatine are obviously an aggressive deliberate force of evil, right? They are yeah. people who are trying to burn down the galaxy. Yeah, and they take pleasure in their, like, emotions. They take pleasure in, like, destruction and anger and stuff, right? Like, that's kind of the idea. He's always laughing yeah. at Sidious as he fights. But I feel like... Uh, It'd be funny if he was laughing when he said Execute Order 66. Yeah. He was like... Hey, <laughs> do it! Do it! <laughs> um, it does not feel like Lucas's opinion of the Jedi Order by the end of this film is positive in any way. No. Yeah. Like, I, it, to a degree, I think it's shitty screenwriting that yeah. he makes them that um, unawares of everything going on all the time. Yeah. But I also think he's ramping up to some sort of point about, like, I, I, I don't know, how, like, absolute power corrupts absolutely, yeah. whether consciously or just through, like, a sort of laziness yeah. that can sneak in, you know? A complacency with your position that yeah. stops them from being active and alert. But then why doesn't he kill off, like, the biggest villain in this movie? And Yoda. why was this I mean, movie made by a man who had more power in making a movie than anyone ever had in making a movie ever. There has never been an independent film 
finance fully by one person's own money at this budget in which he also, across the three films, so at its most extreme by the time we get to this point, developed technology to be able to control every single element on screen, yep. more so than anything in the history of filmmaking, to micromanage every element so there is no spontaneity and everything is within his control. And then the thesis of the movie is power ruins everything. <laughs> whether you're aware of it or not, whether you weaponize it or you just allow it to let you become dull, <laughs> power ruins everything. What do you think, Mike? I, I mean, I think it's just a bad movie. It's a bad fucking movie. But don't you think Yoda should have died? Because, like, Yoda's kind of the chief, you know, architect of the Jedi's uh, collapse. This is a great point. And Yoda's you know? also a shitty character. And he's a I real th- shithead. I think it's hard, though. I mean, you know, you don't see Luke. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you don't see you don't Anakin. See Luke? Luke, Luke, the baby you're talking about at the <laughs> yeah. end of the film. Anakin's yeah. baby is called Luke. I yeah. mean, you see the baby. The, the boy. You don't like, see baby Luke grow up. But, yeah. like, I think Yoda's just too cute to kill I think Lucas yeah. painted himself into this corner where Yoda should die, but then he's like this cute little small thing yeah. voiced yeah. by Miss Piggy, <laughs> you know? <laughs> he's not wrong. Yeah, no, he's correct. <laughs> Are you guys watching The Muppets? I've heard I it's can't. not great. Yeah. It's not great. It's really tough. It's a real bummer. I've heard that they're like, oh, it's a grown-up Muppets, and you're like, it, ah. You're like, who wa- no one wanted this. No, no one who wanted asked it. for this? Also, it, not to fucking make this a whole thing, but the Muppets were always for grown-ups, and they were for grown-ups because they were um, intelligently written, and now they're doing Muppets for grown-ups on a very dumb surface level where it's like Muppets talking about dating and taxes. Well, this is what I'm saying. Yeah. No one yeah. wanted to see the Muppets like drinking coffee in the morning and no, being dumb, like, oh, stupid. I'm tired. Stupid. Right. You know, like, that's not what we think of the Muppets. Like, that's, that, what, yeah. what would a Muppet look like if he was he had overslept. So that's what I want to know. Those are the things that everyone hates about grown ups. <laughs> yeah. Like in the original Muppet drudgery. show. Drudgery. That's what they're like. <laughs> Why would we want to see drudgery? <laughs> but it's fun cartoon animals. And yeah. that's sort of what Yoda is. You're like, he's this adorable little thing. Yeah. yeah. He should be so. He's a frog. Yeah. He's a frog man. Yeah. Yeah. And instead he's like, you know, he meets a little adorable slave boy and he's like, eh, you seem angry. Like he's always a jerk. Yeah. Mean. Anakin wants to be on the council. He's like, eh, we're not going to make you the master. Right. He's condescending. He's mean. He, he, you know, he almost didn't let Yaddle onto the Jedi Council. Is that true? We revealed that in our first podcast. Yeah, he series. voted against her. Yaddle, by the way, was held captive in, in an a underground pit. hole for a hundred years. By whom? By not by Yoda. By, by jerks. No, she, we don't know. She was sent on a mission as a Padawan. Uh, I forget where it was, but she was kept in a hole for a hundred years. She escaped, and everyone's like, "Well, obviously, we should give her a seat." Yeah. And Yoda was like, "Not so fast. <laughs> She's pretty young. Yeah. Has she paid her dues?" Yeah, yeah. Yoda Truly. actually objected. Yoda's yeah. a shit. Even yeah, Yoda's she, a shit. She survived literally by eating the Force. The Force was all that sustained her in that hole. Yeah. We love Yaddle. Is that like in a hook where they eat like the imagined soup from the ball? That's exactly that's what exactly that's what like. She was eating Force pizza. She was eating Force Sundays. <laughs> that's what I would do. All right. I'm sorry. That's off track. But um, yeah, Yoda is-, is Yoda's really shitty. Yeah. I'm just saying it might have been nice to see Yoda just get like, bam, between the eyes. Yeah. I agree with you, David, because I do think, Mike, that he backed himself into a corner by making Yoda such a visually appealing character because yes. you don't want to see him die. Right. And because he's so small, it creates- an unearned sense of empathy in right. battle because he's always the underdog. He's the David fighting Goliath in any battle. But on a personality level, he is so thoroughly awful throughout all three movies and really directly leads to the downfall of the Jedi. He does, by not yeah. sharing information, by not being more perceptive, yeah. by judging everybody, by he blows pulling rank most. over everybody. I'd yes. say Obi-Wan blows it second most. Yeah. And these two guys are the guys who get to survive. Yeah. I mean, Anakin blows it too. Let's not, yeah, let's I mean, not leave him out of it. He's not blameless. He killed those kids. Yeah. But I almost give Obi-Wan- <laughs> the drop of a hat. <laughs> By the way, can we- I know you've talked about no, it. No, no, talk away. He's very cool with killing those kids. <laughs> no problem. Like, if I turned evil, like, it would be more gradual. Yeah, like, you'd I'd have be, to like, build to it. Like, you know? I, yeah, I'll steal from my mom. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> but if, like, I wouldn't just kill, uh, like, a classroom. <laughs> he kills a kid, again, based on just- uh, Sidious saying, like, well, the dark side might save your wife who you had a dream about once. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, there's a bunch of kids running around the <laughs> Jedi Temple, <laughs> and they really need their heads to get chopped off. God. Not start with an adult. No, not, yeah. Not forge some documents to start out. Yeah, like, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, some, some mild tax fraud. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's ease him into this. There's no rush. It's, a, it's an artificial rush that Palpatine's created himself. Um, and that this story creates itself because this story has to be about a Holocaust joke. Yes. Yeah. I do think, though, that by the end of this third film, you realize how culpable Yoda is. And Yoda deciding to banish himself does feel like. Yeah, he says, failed, I have. 
Right, yeah. and it feels like a little too late. Like they make it uh, uh, through the way it's set up. It feels like that's a direct response to him failing the fight with Palpatine. When yeah. really, it's like he's realizing that he failed overall. It, yeah, as yeah a he dude. failed entirely. Because right. let's be honest, if they if Yoda had killed Palpatine. Like, what's the situation then? Probably wouldn't be like, oh, okay, all better now. No, yeah. no, definitely be, not. Like, all the Jedis are dead. There's no leader of this. <laughs> well, there's got to be, like, some other Jedi left, right? Or no? I mean, it can't just be like, oh, we got all of them but two that it, were it, friends. It does seem hard to believe. It there's got to be a yeah. few others. Like, yeah. I don't know. It a just seems like 15,000. Yeah. I don't know. It's uh, uh, it, it would be satisfying to have one of those endings where you realize that Yoda was kind of a villain all along. And not right. like a twisty mustache yeah, really sure, like yeah. I was w- working the gears, but it's like through negligence. The fool on the hill. He was as bad a force as those who were deliberately evil. Unintended. And, yeah. and to see him get a lightsaber through the brain <laughs> might have been nice. And why not? This is the last movie. What are you saving, George? Why let him go off and have a nice life in seclusion? Why? I don't know. David's holding his hand. Maybe he up. wanted to make a fourth movie. I don't. Th- I mean, Padme has two kids. A force movie. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, right. Mike. Uh, Mike, gonna... yes. <laughs> Mike. Yes. <laughs> Mike. Yes. Mike. Mike. Yes. Mike. Yes. Hashtag Mike. Mike. Yes. yes. Please tweet at Mike. Uh, hashtag Mike. Yes. Yeah. Please. No. I mean, we talked about this. Uh, I, I don't know if you know this, Mike. Yeah. But George Lucas did sell Lucasfilm to Disney recently. I, I think did, mostly because yeah. they wanted the Indiana Jones franchise. Yeah. Right. And uh, the remake and st- rights to Tucker, a man in his dreams. Yeah. And Strange Magic. <laughs> yeah, Strange Magic. Willow. Uh, <laughs> there are a lot of good things. Yeah, in they that. wanted to make those, you know, the Monkey Island games again or something. Yeah. <laughs> they yeah, they yeah, were yeah, able yeah. to work Howard the Duck back into Guardians of the Galaxy. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, Radio Land Murders, of course, uh, would work very well as a TV series. Anyway. Um, Please, just keep naming Lucasfilm properties. <laughs> I think there may be two more. Yeah, there's not a lot. Yeah. Um, if he had wanted to make a fourth film, I think he would have done it. What was stopping him? Lack of finances? <laughs> Age, lack of confidence, or maybe, maybe just burnout from doing three in a row. But he you did still do. want to make, yeah. yeah. Maybe he but, wants to but, do other stuff. But he, he produced s- Red Tails. He did produce Red Tails. Mm. Uh, yeah, he he sold the company to Disney. Right, and uh, you know, I we've been saying. I mean, they are sitting on, despite how hated these movies are. Yeah, what was a very successful trilogy of films? Yeah, oh yeah. And Disney's very property minded, you know, franchise minded. It, it would not be out of this realm to assume that someday Disney would try to do an episode four. Yeah. Do you think they try to fucking work Yoda back into it? I mean, like, it, hey, sure, why not? Frank yeah. Oz is still available. As a villain? As what? What does he become be now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, Yoda turns evil. But does he fight Obi Wan or is there like, I mean, you have those babies, but. Maybe he tries to kill the babies? You think Yoda tries to kill the babies? Probably. That's where I would take it. Or steal them to raise them himself, I'm just saying. Then again, he also hid them. I don't know. (laughs) If you brought me into a pitch meeting and were like, a fourth Star Wars movie, what would you do? I'd be like, okay, Yoda's creeping into a child's bedroom. Lightsaber (laughs) brandish. This is the opening scene in the movie. (laughs) And then Obi-Wan chops him in two. That's opening scene is (laughs) Obi-Wan kills Yoda. Bisects him. Okay. Okay. So now Obi-Wan's standing with a bisected Yoda (laughs) over... Two babies. Yeah, 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 sure. No, okay. they get split up. What's scene two? Yeah, I don't know. We have two and a half hours after that. Cut two, 20 minutes later. I don't know. 20, <laughs> 20 minutes later. I got I got a crazy Ooh. idea. Okay. Call me nuts, okay? Okay. The logical thing would be, okay, do an episode four. Continue this story. Mm. But I think they're backed into such a weird corner, and this yeah. this area of the universe we're in now is Are just so- you doing so, episode zero? I said do a prequel. Is yeah, that crazy? Yeah, do a minus yeah. one. Is that crazy? Do a prequel to Phantom Menace? We haven't talked about this. Also, I forgot to mention, like the the closing shot of the movie is Uncle Owen looking at like the sun. Okay, Remember? great. What what is that fucking? It's probably setting him up to be the hero of number four. And Joel Edgerton has become a pretty famous actor. That's true. Yeah. It's so Joel George Edgerton. Lucas was kind of. So you think interesting? You think Owen and Baru would have been the two stars, our male and female stars of yeah, the next Star Wars? That makes Wars sense. Movie. And you know, they're raising a the kid. kid. Yeah. yeah. You know. Walker. Oh, something else I want to mention. <laughs> Please. Because I we haven't talked about this. <laughs> yeah. You know how the poster for The Phantom Menace is Anakin walking, and then there's this shadow he's casting? Yeah. That shadow is Darth Vader armor. Oh, yeah. The armor that he puts on. Really? That's how far in advance Lucas was thinking with this shit. So he knew That's this really is... impressive. Wow. Yeah. Anyway. I mean, I wonder if he just had the general design in his head and sort of followed it, or if he had the exact Darth Vader planned. Maybe he had just, yeah, he's like, yeah, I don't know, he's going to put this on at some point. Also, kind of like, I mean, I guess it makes sense with a voice modulator, but it's weird to switch out Hayden Christensen's voice 
for James Earl Jones' voice for a line. We yeah, talked for, about for, this. For just one line to get that big of an actor in there for just one line. It was a big upgrade, though. I mean, no yeah. one's complaining. Yeah, but why not maybe use James Earl Jones to play General Grievous? That guy has no. several scenes. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. Maybe, and then get the sound guy to do Darth Vader for a minute. Yeah. David, I have a crazy notion, a crazy mm. question. Is there any chance that, that the design of Darth Vader was reverse engineered from that poster? It's not impossible. Right, that they just this yeah, they that, did right. the yeah, poster. It's yeah, they were like, he'll become something evil. Yeah. Well, I'm saying they just did the poster, they shot it, it was in the Tunisia sun. And oh, then they I saw see, the shadow and they yeah. were like, oh, that shadow's kind of interesting. Because mm-hmm. you say, like, oh, it looks like Darth Vader's, um, you know, armor, but like. Anakin's got a bowl cut. That's sort of similar to the splaying of the helmet, you know? I, I mean, guess, it's like, yeah. This thing is, like, two feet taller than him, though. I guess it's just a trick of I, perspective. I don't know how the sun works on, on Tatooine. I don't yeah. know. Well, they did shoot that on Tatooine. They did correct. shoot that They on. did fly to Tatooine. It's <laughs> yeah. a binary star system, so, yeah. Uh, I'm just saying I would love to see a prequel. I think it'd be interesting to see how the Phantom Menace universe started. Do a young okay. Palpatine. This is the thing we want to see is we want to see Palpatine. We want to see Darth Plagueis. Yeah, his his master, oh, yeah. Darth Plagueis. Yeah, sure. Darth Plagueis you the know, Wise. Darth we want to see the them wise. brewing up a yeah. force baby. I, I want. I just want to show you that Griffin is stirring some sort of force cauldron with his hands. They're making a baby. This. Yeah. Going, let's put a baby in Shmi Skywalker and the right. slave lady. Like, that movie sounds more interesting. doesn't sound that interesting. Right now, you're just describing two guys thinking really hard about a baby. And then <laughs> somehow getting it inside a woman. Yeah. <laughs> and then being like, and then we're going to do some stuff. I guess it would end with Palpatine killing Darth Plagueis. Yeah. 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 That's going to be cool. cool and then, like, going to Red Face Paint Planet and finding little Darth Maul. Yeah. Renting an apartment together with a balcony. Yep. Yeah. Ah, uh, that balcony. <laughs> how, well, how are we doing on time, Benny? Oh, man. You guys are looking at about 75 minutes. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think that's a, I think that's a good I don't know. Mike, do you have any further thoughts? No, I'm good. I think I've covered everything I want to cover. Uh, well, you, you were a great guest. Thank you for having me. Extremely Best knowledgeable. Guest. Thank you. Um, you were, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a lot of people, like, have come into the show and then we're, like, talking about, you know, Dexter Jetster, whoever they look at us, like, we're great. Yeah. <laughs> they go, how the fuck do you guys yeah. know that? Why? How do you know their name? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm on, totally on board. Um, and, and you, you remained, um, astoundingly upbeat while talking about a movie that we all hate. <laughs> it was much appreciated. And about a mass murder subplot in the movie yes. that we all hate. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, you know, let's let's pour one out for the Jedi's. Uh, all Some our fallen water? Jedi's. What's yeah. What flavor you got? You got the kiwi, kiwi strawberry. strawberry. Yep. Yep. So let's just briefly, you know, say our respects for Adi Galia. He Adi Mundi. Plo Kloon. Yeah, he 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 bites it. Yep. Uh, Kit Fisto. Ah, uh, Kit Fisto. Who's the little guy? The little guy with the uh, sort of droopy ears. Oh, I forget. Oh yeah, I forget who that. Uh, Yariel Poof. No, he dies between like episodes two and three or something. Really, just like I was reading age. his Wikipedia. <laughs> no, he dies like tragic. Like, Dooku really? chops him into pieces or something. It's crazy. There's a comic book about it. Wow. Um, we like Diario Poof. He's the one with the kind of long stalk head. Oh yeah. The Q-tip. Yeah. Uh, yeah. His his race is that he he's a he's a queer man. <laughs> and his last name is Poof. <laughs> so good job, George Lucas. Yep, that's what we said. Uh, R.I.P. Yaddle. We suppose. Yeah, a lot of these characters died off screen, but yeah, um, we lost we lost a lot of good ones. Agent Evan Cola. Peel, Evan Peel, yeah, Agent Kolar, yeah, um, yeah, all these all these just great characters. Bruce yeah. Sophie, I don't even know who that some is. Some of our best friends, some, <laughs> some of the most beloved characters in the history of pop culture, all gone. Um, so I know this is a somber note. R.I.P. To end on. R.I.P. Uh, thank you, Mike Drucker, for thank being you for here. Me. Thanks, Mike. Yeah. Uh, people can follow you on Twitter, and if they have television, they can watch The Tonight Show. <laughs> yeah, oh, sure. Yeah. Why not? Uh, or if they have YouTube, let's be honest. Or YouTube <laughs> yeah. or Hulu or any. Yeah. If you don't have YouTube, <laughs> there's other places. What, what's coming up in The Tonight Show? Is uh, Jimmy Fallon going to execute Order 66? <laughs> He's going to execute Order 66. Give some we're gonna spoilers. Kill, kill all celebrities. Yeah, yeah. What, what do you got planned for what, the year? What's a big season spoiler? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do we have seasons? I guess we do technically. Do you? I, technically, you have is it, seasons. Is a year a season? Or I have no idea. Just every so often, they'll be like, "It's a new season," and I think there's just some counting method that like <laughs> moles beneath the earth have figured yeah, out. There's like a guy with an abacus <laughs> being like, "The Tonight Show is now in season 29." <laughs> that is exactly. I'm like, "All right, guess we are." 
Uh, no, no season arc spoilers though. No, no season arc spoilers. Um, has, has Jimmy seen the Star Wars movies? Is he a Star Wars fan? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Well, we got to ask the same question that we asked Chase when he was. Here. Oh yeah, where's yeah? yeah. Does when, does Jimmy have any good Hayden Christensen stories? Because <laughs> <laughs> they worked together on Factory Girl. They did. I always forget that. I have to. I have to ask that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Re- please report back to us. <laughs> Yeah, Let we will re- read your answer out live on air. <laughs> yeah, Hayden Christensen did make a return to the cinemas recently. He had yeah, a film come with out that called Christian S- movie. It wasn't called it's, Seven Minutes in Heaven. I think it's Thirty Minutes in Heaven. Thirty Minutes in Heaven. <laughs> he <laughs> ups it to thirty. Yeah. No, but he made a movie where he plays a guy who died and then came back to life and then told everyone about what heaven yeah, was like. Yeah, it's one of those movies minutes. where it's like, I saw my uncle. He was there. Yeah. You know, like and people are like, whoa, <laughs> heaven is real. Yeah. Uh, I didn't see the movie. I, I haven't seen it. You spoiled it for me. Uh, sorry, but he's back, baby. Hayden. Uh, Hayden. Uh, producer Ben, final thoughts? Uh, I don't know. Excited to do another one of these, Ben? <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, yeah. This is fun. <laughs> <laughs> this is the uh, first time we're going to do two episodes in a row. We're doing back to back, uh, baby. So yeah. our next episode, you'll hear a week le- later, but we'll be doing it. Uh, we we might actually just uh, descend into madness. Oh, yeah. Yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm feeling a little lightheaded already. Yeah, me too. Uh, well, uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. Uh, please rate, uh, subscribe, review, mm. uh, and as always, don't just don't pay attention to anything. If you see anything suspicious, don't even don't even fucking worry about it. Just f- forget about it. <laughs>